morning and happy Friday everyone we are back to our house and we are back to a normal kind of routine ish <laughs> we're not uh, the house is there's like stuff I started unpacking so there's stuff everywhere um, my goal of the day is to unpack everything and put everything away which never happens usually I have stuff laying around for weeks but I can't afford to do that because we need to clear the kitchen entirely. We need to clear the living room to make room for all the kitchen units being delivered on Monday. And we are going to be living into the office for about 10 days with a fridge there, a microwave, a kettle and everything. So we can't afford to have clutter there. So my goal is today to unpack and do it all once and for all and put absolutely everything away, do the laundry and film two videos. This is what I want to do today. and. I will probably manage, I think. Uh, it is quarter to nine, James is off uh, in a minute to an appointment. Oh, I'm tired. Uh, I haven't packed a lot of things, but first I'm gonna eat something because I'm starving. I have some half open packets of biscuits from the trip, which are all a bit crumbled, but I'm gonna finish that. We haven't ordered the shopping. We got some a Chinese takeaway last night and we decided we never eat the, all the meat in one go, but every time we ha we make more rice to eat the rest, so we decided to order extra portions of rice to have today, and I ordered extra portions for the boys, so then we knew it would do us like two to last night and today, so we can delay the shopping to tomorrow. I feel like he needs a haircut. His hair has grown a lot, um, but it's kind of I want because it's straight. I want to keep it. Not have super short hair, but this is too long at the back and the sides. Yeah. And I have a hug monster with me. Say hello, hug monster. Hello. <laughs> Are you gonna help me unpack? Uh, I'm kind of. I'm kind of helping Dad um for the minute. But Daddy is gonna go now. Oh yeah. Well, don't mind the mess. But Owen is about to get a surprise because he ate all his lunch, and I have kept a, kept a surprise for him if he did. I'm gonna give it to him now. Are you ready? It's something you've been wanting to have for a long time. Dad, get the bag! But it's the special one? Oh yeah! So remember this is the one like in the video you wanted to try? What kind of one? Do you know that has the surprise on one side? Hold on, we're gonna open it and we'll show you. So on one side you get, it's like a little white chocolate yogurt -y thing with chocolate inside and then there's the toy on the other side. And then try the spoon on like that just, side. Yeah. I wonder what how you build it. It's that. Alright. Press. Press. Oh. Oh, I think it changes color when you put it in the water. Do you, do you want me to do it? Yeah. Let me see. So when it's hot, it becomes pink, but then if you put it in cold water, it goes purple again. I'll try it later on, okay? Yeah. Wanna try this? Yeah. When we went to France, my granny gave Owen a little prince blanket and a little fox toy. She got, she got it as a gift, you know, when she put a nod or somewhere. And he's all happy with his little fox and his blanket watching Stampy. So you want to show us your little fox better because it's a bit hiding? Mm. It's the little prince fox. You like it? Yeah. Is it really soft? Yeah. Mm. I am about to film my two videos. I've made a lot of progress. Uh, all the suitcases are empty. I've kind of organized things by category to put them away. But uh, for now I'm going to film my videos so then I can put all the rest away. I'm filming a haul of what I've bought. So I want to film it before I pack everything so I don't have to go and look for everything again. And I've decided I'm not going to bother. I've put a hairband, very minimal makeup, just a bit of powder and blusher and that's it. I can't be bothered. So I'm not going to have any makeup on. I finished to film the videos. And now I am going to have fun taking labels off all the clothes we bought. Because I haven't done that. And I can do it now before... I put everything away and I'm going to update you in a second on how the um, kitchen and unpacking is going. I'm quite proud of myself so far even though 
sorry i'm trying to grab clothes at the same time um i'm gonna start doing that while i chat with you excuse my hair i had a hairband which i just removed um yes i quite proud about how it's going so far i feel my two videos as planned all the suitcases are empty laundry is going i can't make it go faster i just have to wait until it's finished but i have the first load in the terminal dryer um yeah and then i'll go i'm just sleeping upstairs at the moment so i'm not going to go and do any work upstairs until he's awake because he needs to catch up on sleep and i don't want to risk waking him up so i will uh wait until he's awake and then i'll go and put like the clothes away in the wardrobes and stuff and the stuff away in the bathroom and you know all this um oh the ground is far i need these are jeans jeans spot but uh i need to take them up so i'm gonna leave them down here where my sewing machine is so then i can do that later on uh not today because i don't have time probably at some point in the week when the work is going on uh in the kitchen um yeah i'm kind of stressed out about the whole thing i have to say like the next few weeks are absolutely crazy there's a lot going on um there's that there's the launch of my stickers which i still have a lot of work to do for i had brought my laptop with me to do some work and it never happened but i, I needed a break so i decided to take the break um but i have a lot of work to do really a lot of work to do so i'm gonna get going i want to once the kitchen is sorted out to you know everything is packed and all and ready to go for monday and everything is moved around i can focus on that really so yeah i might have to see if my in-laws want to take the boys for a day or so so i can get stuck in so i'll have to wait and see but yeah i'm not gonna ramble too much there and bother you with my <laughs> everything that's happening uh james has a lot of appointments then it's back to school we still have to buy stuff for school um i have i used to be a child minder basically and i haven't minded children um in the past since i went on maternity leave from alfie and although i'm not planning to mind any right now i don't want to lose my um child minding registration so for that to happen i need to continue to do have my inspections and show that my paperwork is up to date or my training is up to date and all that and i'm doing inspection um at the beginning of september and so i decided to go ahead with it and to, you know to be able to keep that as an option if i wanted to continue chain mining eventually so um, this is happening and it does require some work and preparing paperwork and having the house you know ready for inspection but I'm getting my kitchen redone, so <laughs> I have phone today to try and delay it by... It was supposed to be on the 8th of September, and unfortunately, the tiler is going to be starting the work a week later than planned, which will be during that time. So I can't really have a show that my kitchen is safe and all that while there is somebody tiling it and there is boxes all over my living room and you know it's it's just not compatible so i have phoned them today to explain the situation and uh, the lady who is coming for the inspection is off until monday so she's going to call me back on monday it shouldn't be a problem because usually they are quite accommodating whenever as long as it's not you know can you come back in six months please <laughs> but i'm going to try and delay it by Two weeks would be ideal, but if they count, at least by a week, so it gives me time to kind of pull the house back together somehow. Uh, yeah, so it's it's a lot, but it's all good stuff, but it's just a lot. So I, I guess easily stressed out. There's a lot. Um, especially, I haven't used my planner for about two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. And um, I need to do that because... It will calm me down to have a list, you know, a clear list of things to do. Today I took it out and I felt like I was being re reunited with my old friend. So I have written down like all the big guidelines of what was done during the holidays. And then I'm going to print out little pictures with my um, little printer, like the Polaroid printer I have, to stick them in and write down little stories about what we did and all that. Just so there's a little journal thing in the middle of there because... I didn't bring my planner with me. I actually sometimes I bring it and I just have a little notebook on the side. 
but I actually made the conscious decision to not bring it so I can completely switch off which worked and was good but I did miss my planner do you think I need to see a doctor for that <laughs> is it, is when it's that bad but um yeah no it's it was it, I was glad to get a proper break where I could completely switch off but now to get organized again to stop stressing out so I'm gonna have my whole laundry folded and all the labels taken off because there was sales there's like a million labels on these things um but um yeah I'm I'm gonna get there I am somehow so if you hear me being stressed in the next few days you'll know why it's because I have a lot to do but hopefully I won't bore you too much with that I'm going to stop rambling. I've been talking for six minutes there, so yeah, I'm going to go on and show you the progress in a second. I feel like my kitchen is not mine anymore. It looks so boring. <laughs> it just removed so much. And I'm going to show you, uh, it looks extremely boring. So we have beige walls with white walls. There's almost nothing left there, nothing left on the fridge. All the walls are now completely white and bare in contrast to that crazy colorful mess over here and yes i do have little of swatches of makeup on my thing i still haven't sorted that but this is a bin this is stuff i need to put away from the suitcase that's actually the last bag of the suitcases i need to pack away i've been cleaning the laundry and i'm adding to that this is all food we brought back we did bring back a lot <laughs> and that's all decorations from the wall i've put down the fridge and the kettle and toaster are going to go in the office with us, so I'm going to move them tomorrow or Sunday. Hello. So it's actually half one in the morning. I didn't see the time. But uh, the good news is I have updated my planner for next week. Uh, I'm quite behind on my planning stuff, but um, I need to get back into that because I have a lot to do in the next weeks. And that will help me. But for now, I think, even though I don't feel that sleepy, I'd better go to bed. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to the cinema to see Finding Dory. And we are also more than likely going to go shoe shopping for the boys. Uh, Owen needs some school shoes and some normal shoes. And Alfie needs some normal shoes. So we are more than likely going to go to a shoe shop for them. Uh, we need to start out the shopping eventually as well and there's a lot to do and then move the kitchen around and yeah, a lot more stuff. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!